What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about physical prepping. There's a couple things in this bag that I would like to show you and there's a couple things that I want to talk to you about today. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive content. Link in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, and of course we have the brand new DYDSS military tee, available in four different colors, available until the 4th of July. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But there's a few things in this bag that I want to share with you, a couple things that I want to review and maybe recommend. But before I do that, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about regarding physical prepping. Yes, I'm going to be talking a little bit about fitness and living a slightly more healthy lifestyle. I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks with you guys. And the reason for that is because this is an area that I feel like a vast majority of preppers don't necessarily take into consideration. Now, as I'm learning more and more about the realm of prepping, I'm aligning less and less with the way most preppers tend to think and tend to speak. I'm not the type of guy that wants to instill fear in anyone's heads. I do not want to promote paranoia. However, I like to take a realistic approach and look at things from a logical standpoint and figure out what is likely to happen or what is possible to happen and try to figure out ways to prevent or combat such things. And I think a lot of things that are possible can be prevented or at least reduced by physical prepping. Now, by physical prepping, I'm talking about getting yourself in better shape and getting yourself physically prepared for whatever happens. For example, and you need to ask yourself right now a simple, logical yes or no question. The answer should be yes, but if your answer is no, there's no shame in that because you can work on it, you can fix it, you can correct it, and you can change the no into a yes by working on those areas. But you've got to ask yourself, can you see yourself physically handling, maybe climbing up a ladder, climbing out of a window, jumping over something, jumping out of something, laying down on the ground and crawling through a space or swimming for an extended period of time, or running for an extended period of time, can you see yourself physically being able to handle those things? If not, you can work on those areas, you can fix them, you can correct them, and you can very well change that no into a yes. A slightly more extreme example, maybe it's not your own body weight that you're worrying about. Maybe you need to carry an unconscious person out of a burning building, or out of a flooded area or whatever the case may be, you need to look at these potential scenarios and figure out ways to physically prepare yourself to handle these situations. Now, what's inside this bag, I have a couple things that I would like to show you. The first one is this jump rope. Now, it might seem a little bit weird or whatever. It might seem a little bit unnecessary, but the reason I want to talk about jumping rope is because Coming from somebody who hates cardio, I do not like cardio. I don't like running. I don't like any form of cardio for that matter. However, jumping rope is, out of all the forms of cardio, jumping rope is my favorite. And the reason for that is because I can get a whole lot more done in a whole lot less time. For example, you burn more calories and you get your heart going faster in a shorter amount of time than you would by running on the treadmill or riding on the stationary bicycle or whatever the case may be. You can get a whole lot more done by jumping rope than you can in those other areas. Not to mention, jumping rope, you are far, far, far less likely to sustain an injury by jumping rope than you would by running. Jumping rope is safer for your ankles, safer for your knees. It's all around safer, and like I said before, you can get a whole lot more done in a whole lot less time, which is very important for me because I value my time. It's also very important for me because I do not enjoy cardio. I would rather spend the vast majority of my time in the gym lifting weights and not to mention, I box, so jumping rope is pretty much a win-win. You get to work on cardio, 
get to work on speed, endurance, stamina, footwork. So jump rope is what I recommend for cardio. If you don't like running, if you don't like biking, maybe you have somewhat of a knee or an ankle issue as it is, obviously I'm no doctor, so talk to your doctor first, but I would definitely recommend giving jumping rope a try. The next thing I want to talk to you about is something that I'll talk about very, very quickly because this is something that I've talked about many, many times in the past, but drinking water. However much water you're drinking, odds are you're probably not drinking enough, so my recommendation is to drink more water. Typically, you're supposed to get eight servings of water a day, and by servings, that's measured in eight ounces, so eight, eight ounces of water. So 64 ounces of water, that's about a half a gallon of water every single day. And if you're engaging in physical activity and if you're sweating a lot, you're doing all these crazy exercises, you're probably going to want to drink more than that. But I would recommend drinking at least a half a gallon to three quarters of a gallon of water every single day. No days off, no excuses. Now the last thing I want to show you is something that I don't typically think is absolutely necessary, but it's definitely helpful. A lot of people feel like they need a pre-workout before they exercise. They need all these crazy uh, chemical concoctions and whatnot. I personally do not believe in pre-workout because dependency is no friend of mine. I've seen what happens to people when they run out of pre-workout. They physically cannot handle being in the gym and doing the exercises that they typically do. However, I think these are a little bit different. Now I have three different flavors. The brand is called G Fuel. And it wasn't necessarily designed to be a pre-workout. It was more so designed to be something for video gamers, believe it or not. Now I can't stand video games, but this isn't something that gets you all wired out and jittery like a pre-workout or maybe like a typical energy drink. I'm not gonna name any names, <clears throat> Red Bull, does to you. But I think this is pretty cool. Not to mention zero sugar, 25 calories, and it says right down here, I don't know if that'll focus, you can actually see it on the website, but it has an energy formula, it has a focus formula, that's right, this is very specifically designed to help improve your focus and reaction time, and it has an entire list of all the antioxidant components. Now these are the three flavors that I've tried and like the most of the several flavors I've tried. This is peach iced tea, this is Bahama Mama, which is essentially pineapple, coconut, and orange, and this is cotton candy flavor. Like I said, zero sugar, 25 calories, it has antioxidants, so I think they taste really good. I think they do the trick. It doesn't get me all crazy energized, you know, like maybe chugging coffee and energy drinks and pre-workout would, but it definitely improves my focus my reaction times, which is really important for me considering the type of work that I do and considering that I am a student, so I drink this in the morning. Obviously, you want to ask a doctor before you take any type of supplement or do any type of exercises, but the last thing I want to point out is the fact that living a healthier lifestyle, whether it be engaging in physical activities like sports or weight training or whatever the case may be, or maybe a healthier diet, just all around being a little bit more healthy, you are, it's scientifically proven by the way, you are less likely to sustain an injury if you're living a healthier lifestyle. You're also far less likely to become sick because by eating right, by sleeping right, by exercising every day, by consuming more water and doing everything that you need to do to be healthier, you're going to boost your immune system. And when it comes to prepping, we try to cover all bases. When it comes to prepping, we want to prevent bad things from happening. So if we can do what's in our power to maybe reduce the likelihood of becoming sick or getting injured, I think that's something that should we should be doing and that's something that we should be taking into consideration. So all the products that I showed you today, I will be linking in the description in case you want to try out one of these. You might want to do a little bit of research on your own or talk to a doctor beforehand. This is just showing you what I do. These are showing you some of the things that I consume and some of the activities that 
I'm involved in. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Also, if you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive content. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we've got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds for different charity organizations. And, of course, we have the brand new DYDSS military tee, available in four different colors until the 4th of July, being sold to help raise funds and awareness for military with PTSD an organization actively working to help improve the lives of our veterans. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you do to physically prepare yourself for potential outcomes? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.